Welcome everybody to another game in the winter game series from Right Start Mathematics. We're going to pull a game from the math card games book. The one we're going to pick today is lowest in the corners. This is game P18 from the math card games book written by Joan A. Cotter. Hosted by me, Kathleen Cotter Lawler. So let's start by looking at the objectives and the manipulatives we're going to use for this uh, new game here. So first of all, our objective, our reason to play this game is we're going to provide practice in using multiples for four multiplication sets. Um, we're going to play, we're going to use the two, four, two, threes, fours, and fives in today's game, just because those are kind of easy and we can work with those. You can use the multiplication tables or the short multiplication table. And I'll show you these as we get a little bit farther on. If your child doesn't need to use it, don't use it. But again, they can use it if they need to. So here's the multiplication table. Here's the short multiplication table. So the cards that we need, we need the multiplication deck, which looks like this. You were going to use four sets. And like I said, we're going to use the two, threes, fours, and fives. Now, as you're getting them together, you could sort it out and try to figure everything out, figure, you know, get, get all your, your numbers, you know, two through 20, three through 30, four through 40, and it gets to be a mess. Or we have these handy dandy envelopes where you can put your sets of 10 cards in each envelope. So all these cards, eight through 80, are gonna be in this envelope and five through 50 are gonna be in this envelope and three through 30 in this one. And I'll show you as we get going in here what I did, it was a whole lot easier. So we wanna use consecutive sets. They're easier to keep track of. Now, if you want to, you can use three, five, seven, and nine, but that gets a little bit harder to remember. So again, using consecutive sometimes is easier. Two to four people can play. I'm going to play today with my invisible friend, Jonathan. So it'll be just the two of us. And each player gets seven cards. And again, we're gonna go through and run through this, but this is stuff coming from the book. The object of the game is to be the first player to play all their cards. So let's go look at how to play this. So here is our math card games book. And again, we're going to play game P18. Let me just find it here. I have it marked so it makes it easier for me to find it. Well, it's actually a two-pager. It's actually right here. Don't move this up a little bit. It's here and then up on the next page. So that's the game that we're going to play. Now, I've actually, for our purposes here, put it together on one sheet of paper so we can see the whole thing. And I'm going to kind of show you. we got some notes in here that become, are going to become critical as we go through and play this game. So I was going to show you real quick how these envelopes work. So here are my envelopes. So I've got ones, twos, you know, all the way through. And since I'm gonna work today with the twos and the threes and the fours, here we go, the fours and the fives, I'm gonna grab those, I'm gonna set these aside. Now in each envelope, you don't have to do this, but it sure makes life easy. Let's take the fives for example. I can open up this envelope and I've got all my fives cards. So I've got them all here. So I'm gonna pull out all of my cards because I'm gonna again work with the twos, threes, fours, and fives. Let's see. And I'm gonna shuffle my deck. Get this out of my way. So let's look at our instructions again. It says, let me get a pen out. Actually, I'm going to get a highlighter and a pen out here so I can identify some of these things for you here. So what it says, okay, number of players, two to four, cards, four sets. Yep, so I've got that, consecutive sets. Deal, each player gets seven cards. The remaining form the stock. Okay, let's go in there. So I'm going to play against my invisible friend, Jonathan. So one, two three, four, five, six, and seven. The remaining cards form the stock in the middle here. Okay, here's my cards. And it says, oh, it also says, if you go back and look at the instructions, 
that, let's see here, layout. Layout, four cards face up around the stock, one on each side. And our goal again is to be the person to play, get rid of all my cards. So this is Jonathan's, we'll put his over here. Okay, so I'm gonna put four cards face up. One, two, three, here we go. Just gotta move my computer out of the way here so I have some room to play. All right, actually I'm gonna scoop this down so it's kind of in the center of our area. There we go, okay. So now, looking at this again, it says, player begins his turn by taking one card from the stock. So let's, let's circle this here, taking one card from the stock and then plays as many cards as possible with the following rules. The sets are built in ascending order on either the initial cards or at the corners. So like there's gonna be a corner. Here's gonna be a corner. So on mine, corner, 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 corner. So I can build on any of these four or the corners. Let's go back and look here. Uh, let's see, it's shown previously cards in a corner. Oh, here, this is important. The cards in the corner must be the lowest card of one of the sets. And what sets are we doing? We're doing two, three, four, and five. Okay, and if need be, write this down and share this with the child. Okay, a card or group of cards may be shifted to any other position as long as they're built on it. You can fill any space vacated. Okay, so let's go look and see what we come up with. Let's look at my hand. So I've got this. Again, we're doing twos, threes, fours, fives. So this, I'm going to pull out my multiplication table here. That 15, let's look at this real quick here. Whoops, let's get this straight so we can see things straight. A 15 can either go here, there's a 15 in the threes. It's also one of the fives. It's not a two and it's not a four. So I can either go 15, 18 or I can go 15, 20. So those are the two I could do there. Do I have a 15 or a 20? No, I don't. 30? Well, it's going to be a three, but it's the end. So the only thing I can do is make this a five. So it's going to be 35. Oh, I got a 35. Yay. 35. Oh, 40. Uh, nothing else there. You know what I didn't do? Hang on a second. Let me put this back in here. It says I got seven cards. I got, yep, seven cards. It says take one card from the stock and now play. Okay, I'm still going to do the same thing. 35 and 40. A five. That's not a two, it's not a three, it's not a four, it's only a five. This is a beginning one. I can move this card. Actually, can I move it? Let's go look and see. Let's go look at the instructions. It says, can I, I wonder, because I'm wondering if I can move it to a corner. Well, let's go look and see. Uh, may, oh, a card or group of cards may be shifted to any other position. And it says the first card in a corner must be the lowest card. So I'm gonna shift that. So it means I've got an open spot now that I can play. Again, if it's in a corner, it has to be two, three, four, five. So it's gonna be a five. Okay, oh, I've got two sixes, look at that. Let's put these in order maybe. Let's see, so 15, I know I can do a 20. Oh, I have a 20. Okay, or let's see here, okay. So 27, this is gonna be a three, that's its only choice. So 27, oh, 30, you can do that, good. Oh, this is actually kinda of good. I'm gonna put, I could do a six, because if I can get a nine, I could do a 12. 36, this is gonna be a four. I don't have any fours going. Okay, I think my turn's over. Maybe you see something I can't do. I can't do anything else. Okay, so now it's my invisible friend Jonathan's turn. Okay, here's his hand. Take a card, everybody takes a card. And now what can he do? Well, hey, look at this. We got a two right here. I'm gonna lay that down. I'm gonna actually gonna make this go two, three, four, five, just because for me, it makes my brain easier instead of going two, three, four, five. It doesn't matter. This is just the way my brain works. So I'm gonna put the two there. All right, let's see here. This one needs, now I can't, even though we're doing twos and threes, 
I can't make this fours. I can't go 24. This has to be, I've already set this up as five. So 15, 20, 25. So even if I wanted to put a 24 here, I can't because we've already set this as a series of fives. It's not a four. If it was a 16, 20, 24, but it's not a 16, it's a 15. So this has to be 25. So that I can't play, which is kind of annoying. Let's see here, five. This one needs a 10. Well, here's the end of it. This is the end of that one. Those aren't gonna be very helpful. I'm gonna put those over there just to help myself. Let's see here. That's the end. Oh dear. 15, 20, 25, two, four. That's at the end of that run. 5, 10, I don't have a 10, can't be anything else. 6 could be, if I do, let's go look at this real quick here. If I do a 6, a 6 could be here, a 6 could be there. So it can go either place. So I can, do I have a 9 or an 8? Let's go look. So 6, do I have a 9 or an 8? I don't. Well, actually, Jonathan doesn't because this is his hand. I don't see anything else that can be done. Can you guys? I don't, I think he is done. So we'll set Jonathan's hand aside. Okay, back to my turn. Again, as I start my turn, I take a card. Okay, 20, ooh, <laughs> this is nice. Okay, so 25, 30, no, that one's done. Six, oh, not 12 would work if I had sixes, but I don't. Um, I don't see anything else I can do. Okay, so my turn's over with. Jonathan's turn again. Take a card. A 10. Ooh, 5, 10, 15. Do we have a 20? We don't have a 20. Okay, a 6 would need a... Oops, move that so you can see. 6, six would need a... What do we say? We need it at 8 or a 9. I don't have that. That's at the end of the run, 25, 30. Now, what I could do is I could move this here and put a 35, but it's not gonna help me. So I'll just leave that and remember that. Two, four, that's at the end of the run, 20. I would say Jonathan's party is over, okay? All right, my turn. I only have three cards. <laughs> Okay, ooh, 45. Oh, yeah, 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 look at this right here, 45. I still can't do anything, I don't think, with anything else. Can anyone see anything? All right, my turn's over. Now it's Jonathan's turn. Let's see, take a card. 12. That's not very helpful. Did anything else move over here? For oh, 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 look at this, 45. 50. Okay, so I've got this one running. If I could find a 20 here, a 20 and a 25, I could get this whole stack running. But again, I'm trying to get rid of my cards. I'm not trying to complete the runs or the set. I'm just trying to get rid of my cards. So 25, 30, but that still isn't going to help me if I have a Oh, look at this. What if I do this? Does that help me anything? Now I could turn this into threes. What if I have an 18? Oh, I do. Look at me go. So 18. See anything else? So next one's going to be a tw 21. No, I got excited there. I got backwards. I don't see anything else. All right. I think Jonathan's turn is over. My turn. Take a card, ho, oh, 21. And again, let your children use this to help them see what's next. So back over here, 18. If I don't know what's next, I already know I've got 15, 18, 15, 18, next one's gonna be a 21. Use this, let the child use this. This helps them learn it. Think of this kind of as a recipe card. It helps them understand what's next or to see what's next until pretty soon they get this idea in their mind. So don't hesitate to use that resource. Okay, this one we said can't go any further. This one needs a 24, which I don't have. This still needs a four. 
this run is done, I need a 30. Again, I could pull this 30, but that doesn't really help me anywhere. Six, let's go back and look. Six could use a eight or a nine. Oh, no, six, I don't have either. Okay, my turn's done. Jonathan's turn. And I want to get this to a point here where we can see where we can see somebody win. 20. We don't have, that's not going to be helpful. I don't think anything else changed. Wish we were doing, wish we were doing sixes. That would be nice, but I'm not. But look at this. I've got a bunch of twos. I got a whole string of them right here. 16, I got a 20. Well, 24 isn't going to be helpful. I mean, I've got, I've got stuff. I just can't let this one, I can't seem to get this one to move. If I could just find a four, that would be very nice. Okay, so I think Jonathan's turn is over. Maybe you can see something. I can't. Okay. All right, my turn. Pick a card. Oh, I'm just talking about needing a four. I need a four and a six. Oh, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna move this six off because this just strategically this makes sense. Now I've got a space. Although it's not really very beneficial can't really do anything with it. Let's see here. Well, I'm just going to lay down a, oh, look at this. I can do 12 and then I can take this series and put this over here. Oh, if I could only, I'm so close. 36, 36. Let's go double check. 36 I need in the right here. And that's the only 36. The only thing I need was a 32. Do I have a 32? I don't. Okay, my turn's, oh, I can still lay one card here. You know, I think it's gonna be most beneficial if I lay down the six. Well, 36 is gonna be hard to get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of this one strategically. Okay, I have one card left, All right? Jonathan's turn. Oh, let's see here. By the way, notice how you can play this as a two person or one person game. You could just even have one person playing it back and forth. You kind of adapt. All right, so 20, we already had a 24. That was very not helpful. Nothing, oh, look at this right here, right? 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. What comes next? 28, I don't have one around here. We're still missing a three and a four. Oh, we had a four there. Shoot, we could have put that over here. I wasn't thinking about that. I don't know who made that mistake, me or Jonathan. Ha. Let's see here. Six. This one I need an eight. Don't have any that I can peel from. 40. This one needs a 28. I don't know. Does anyone see anything I can do? I don't. Okay. One card left. 16 is what I pick. And I got to get rid of both of these now. I got to get rid of both of these two cards. 16. I don't see anything. 16. Let's go back and double check here. 16. 16 is right here. So I need a 14, 18 around it. And there's a 16 here, a 12 and a 20. So there's a 12. Do I have a 20 around here? I have a 20, but I can't get rid of that. Hmm. I don't see anything. All right, Jonathan's turn. But you see how this game is going. I'd like to get to a point. Oh, 28. Didn't I say it? One, oh, look at this. 24. 28. I'm just going to get kind of tight pulling off the screen. I don't have a 30 down here. But this, is, this one's getting kind of nice. If I can only find these threes. The three and the four. 24. Let's see. 20. I don't see anything. Does anybody else see anything? Remember, these two can, the corners can only have the starting, the th two, three, four, five that we happen to be using in our set. Nothing to start with, nothing I can lay on. I don't see anything else to move. Now, this is the end of the three sets. And yes, 33 would be next. If there was a 33 card, we still don't go above it. This is the cap. This is the end of the run. Okay. 
my turn. Ah, yay, a three. Okay, can't do anything with it. So three, six, ho, ho, ho. Not a nine, where can I put this 16? Anything I can move. I need a four there. But see, I can't take this four because I got to get rid of this six if I did that. Oh, so close. Okay, Jonathan's turn. He's got, well, he's kind of losing. Well, actually, I kind of think I'm winning. Okay, 32. 32, does this go here? Let's just double check that. So I've got the threes here. Threes, I've got, looking at it here, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. Oh, that's not gonna work. I guess if it was a fours, it would work. 27, don't have that. 30, don't have that. That's an end. Eight, don't have it. 36, I do have a nine, no. Okay, Jonathan, I don't see you can do anything. I don't know if you guys can see anything. So close. Yes. Okay, I can put a nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 28. So I can take this whole set. Just a second here, this is a lot, so I have to take, put this over here. Look at me go. So look at that. I have one card left. I have a space. I win. Jonathan did not. Now, you, if you, depending upon your household, you may want to continue to play where maybe kids take more. That could be a family adaptation. But this is the way the game is, is once I am out of my cards, I won. Go me. So what did you guys think of that game? I thought that was really fun. Remember to put your cards back in the envelopes when you're done. Enjoy the games. So go have fun. Enjoy these games. Help your children not only practice their math facts, but to help them enjoy math and have it be a great time. Stay tuned for next week's Winter Games with Right Start Math. Bye, everybody.